Hey guys, welcome back. It has been a hot minute. Um, I looked at my last video and I think it was 10 months ago that I posted. So it's been a really long time. Oh, somebody wants to come up here. Hold on. Oh. You want to come up here and say hi? Yes. Um, last time I posted, I remember I posted like a four month video of him. He is now, uh, like, what, what are you now? Like 14 months old. <laughs> so he had a, a little, um, I'm just going to kind of like go through the past 10 months and try to catch everyone up. But, um, so he had his first birthday party. Now he wants to own. Or he wants to just sit here and chill. Or he wants my phone. I don't know. <laughs> um, so anyway. Uh, his first birthday party, we did Coco Melon. Get theme. Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> yeah. Yay. He is obsessed with Coco Melon. So we did a Coco Melon themed birthday party and it turned out so great. We had a big um, water slide for, we were going to have a lot of older kids there and my daughters are older so I wanted the kids to have something to do. Um, and then he got a little bounce house for his birthday present. We set that up. I made the cake. I will insert a photo. Start a few photos of just kind of have a party look. I made a huge balloon arch. It took me like two days to make. <laughs> Are you gonna act crazy now? Oh, you gonna clap? Yay! Yay! I'm gonna adjust this camera just a little bit. My tripod on the bottom. Okay, that's much better. So, um, anyway. Hope you like my shirt. I love Nirvana. I love uh, collecting band t-shirts now. That's like my big thing. So I think I got this at Goodwill a long time ago. We'll see how well this video works with him. Um, I'm going to get sidetracked quite a bit because it, you know, trying to talk and juggle a baby at the same time is not my forte. So um, anyway, so a lot of the videos that I was creating um, almost a year ago was my postpartum weight loss journey. Um, since then, I have gained all the weight that I lost back. Um, I think I've lost about 45 pounds, maybe a little more. And over the year, over fall and winter, um, I've basically gained all of it back and probably been some. So, um, I'm now close to what I weighed when I delivered him. Um, I'm not proud to say that, but things happen. Life happens, and you know, it is what it is. So, I am going to start. It, it is something that would interest you. I would like to start doing my workout motivation videos again. Um, like, what I eat in a day. Don't fall off the bed. <laughs> oh goodness, he he never stops. He never stays still. He's so different than my girls. They were pretty laid back babies, and he is just not one of them. Um, but it's okay. We we make it work. Um. So, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, about the fitness videos and things like that. If that's interesting to you and you'd like to see that more of that content. Hey, so if you'd like to see more of that content, sorry, he um, learned how to stop the video from recording. So yeah, uh, there's that. <laughs> oh goodness. I am going to go and get him something to do real quick. Oh, you're right back. 
Okay, so he is chilling now watching Coco Melon. I hope you can't hear it in the background. You shouldn't be able to. Um, but yeah, he's good now. Um, anyway. Whew, I'm out of breath. He's getting so heavy. I don't even know how much he weighs. It's like 25 pounds, I think. But it's a lot when you're out of shape. And I am very out of shape. Um, so, a little background of kind of what got me out of working out was, I think it was in October. So, um, if you've seen any of my old past videos, you know I had a car wreck. Um, I broke both of my legs. Well, I shattered um, my right ankle and then I broke my tibia. Is it tibia bone? Bear with me. Um, I think my tibia tibia in my left leg and so I have a rod in there um, and then there was a screw that was keeping the rod in that um like it was right up here and um it poked out quite a bit so like if I was trying to do a workout and get down on my knees or something I'd have to put a pillow up under it because that screw would hit the floor like the hard ground and it would just dig in and it was really painful so I ended up having surgery to get that removed and so I no longer have that screw in there that's been great but you would think a recovery from just getting a screw removed wouldn't be like very long but it, it was probably like a week that I was kind of down and had to like use crutches for probably the first couple of days and then slowly work my way back into getting around. Um, so I had that surgery and then in, I believe, February, uh, either it was the end of January or the beginning of February. It was somewhere around that time. So I decided to get the plates in my ankles removed. So I had that surgery done and that was so painful. Like I was down for over a week. Um, I had to use crutches for almost a full week. Um, putting pressure on it was just like, I felt like I was right back to after my wreck, like having two broken legs and couldn't get around and the pain, like the pain was so, so bad. So I had that surgery. So I had two surgeries done over this past um, 10 months and um, that really, really put me down. Just being down for that long, several times. Um, and then I had to have a couple of uh, surgical extractions of my teeth. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> um, anyway, so my point being is I fell in and out of depression a lot over those surgeries. Just the being down, not being able to do anything, being in pain, and then trying to recover from it was just a lot on me physically and mentally. And so I had a lot of depression spells and I didn't want to do anything and I sure didn't want to work out. That was the last thing that I wanted to do. Um, Anyway, so, yeah, I, over this past two months, I would say I've had a couple of ups where I worked out for maybe like a week straight, maybe two weeks, and then I kind of just fell off the wagon. Um, same with my nutrition. It hasn't been wonderful. Um, and I just recently started going to a therapist for my anxiety and my depression. Um, I'm not going to get into details about that because that is very personal. However, um, if you are dealing with anxiety and depression, I suggest reaching out for some help because I wish I would have did it a long time ago. Um, it's something I've been dealing with for most of my life and it's it really puts a damper on just your day-to-day -day life. So, um, 
However, I feel like getting back onto YouTube will give me some motivation and maybe help me get back into a workout routine, get back into eating better, just eating more clean. Um, eating more clean and more vegetables, which I don't get enough of. I'm a carnivore um, and I love my fried food. I'm from the South. So, uh, anyways, uh, that's kind of been the past 10 months update. Um, just a lot going on. And, um, but I, I think I'm ready to hop back in and um, give y'all some workout motivation. I know that when I watch workout videos, they really motivate me. However, I normally just watch them work out and I never do. <laughs> I never work out. <laughs> so it's awful. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, but it is what it is, you know, I'm just being honest. Um, so, uh, comment below if you would like to see more workout content because I really need to start focusing more on my health, um, just for the, not only the physical side, chasing Asher around, he is into everything, and it is, I'm out of breath, like, not even 30 seconds into chasing him around, it's really, really bad, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in myself for getting so out of shape. But, um, it's never too late to get back in shape and work on it. And, um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to hop on here, give a little update of where I've been, why I haven't been on, um, in so long. Like, I, I looked at my last video and I was like, oh wow, 10 months ago, like, has it really been that long? And, um, I think it's just time to jump back in and, um, I enjoy making videos and I enjoy making workout videos, um, because that just really kind of puts my butt into gear a little more than if I'm just, I know that sounds kind of like, oh, you have to make a video just to work out. But it's a little more than that. It's just more inspiring to make content. I'm a very create. I need creative outlets. I'm a very creative person. Um, that's why I've like dabbled in like I did cake decorating for a while. I did photography. I did charcuterie boards or grace boxes, whatever you want to call them. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, cookies, like the royal icing sugar cookies. I did those for a little while. Um, I like to paint. That's something that I've realized kind of helps me. That's a therapeutic creative outlet. So, um, if you are struggling with depression and anxiety like I do, I suggest trying to find a creative outlet. Something therapeutic and relaxing. Whether it's reading, just not on your phone, not on your TV, which is something I'm very guilty with. And um, anyway, I feel like I've already made this video way too long. Um, I just wanted to jump back in and just touch up on the past 10 months. And um, yeah, so if you would like to, like I said, see me starting to create content again, um, I'll go ahead and tell you, like, a, probably at the end of my last couple of videos, my challenges that I did, I had gotten down to one, about 160, and I started, I was, when I had Asher, I was 209. Heaviest I've ever been in my life. Um, very, very disappointed in myself for letting myself get there. Um, however, you know, what, what are you going to do? You either go up or you go down. So I got to about 160 and then, um, now my starting weight would be 199. So, um, I don't feel like I look like I'm almost 200 pounds, 
but I am, as my scale says, I got a new scale that reads better. So it's pretty accurate, I believe. And, um, yeah. So if we start doing these challenges again and just eating again, I really want to make sure I'm very open and honest about, um, the journey as I go along and, um, just keep it very raw and real because getting healthy and in shape is not easy at all. If it was, everybody would do it. And, um, but it's not impossible. You just gotta want it. And, um, I think I'm to that point right now that I really do want it. I'm very desperate. Um, I need it. I need it for my son's sake, for my girl's sake, to stay healthy for them and active. Um, so I hope this video wasn't completely all over the place. I know I just kind of like jump back and forth and everything, um, but it's been so long since I've made a video that it's going to take me a little bit of time to get back into the swing of things. So just bear with me. Um, if you're watching this, thank you. I would love to have you subscribe because I do plan on putting out content again. And um, yeah, I would love for you to stick around and just let's chit chat in the comments below. And yeah, just keep it, keep it a very um, safe community to, uh, just kind of get to know each other. I'd love to get to know any of my uh, sus subscribers that I have so far. Um, if you become a new subscriber, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And um, yeah, give me ideas of things you would like to see. I would really appreciate it. Sometimes, you know, you get, some people get writer block. Well, I get video block, video content block. And I'm like, I don't know what to put out that people are actually going to watch. So, um, anyway, this video is long enough as it is. And I'm going to get off here. And um, I hope to see you soon with a new video starting this journey again. And we are going to do this. Um, I'm a year postpartum. And that's okay. My body's going to take a while to get back. And um, some... some some people say it's like it could be two years until your body gets back to normal and um, if, I hope it doesn't take that long but we're gonna take it step by step so anyway um, I will talk to you guys later and I hope everyone has a great day um, stay happy and try to stay positive I know it can be hard but um, it is possible so Anyway, alright, bye guys!